Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for another round of Final Fantasy XIV. So, if you guys remember, we uh, finally ended up here back in the Azim Steps. Met with the, uh, what was it, the Zayla? Zayla? Vela? I think Zayla. I think it's Zayla. Um, <clears throat> one of the tribes that are here called the Mull. And we met with, uh, what was it? C Cicerna? Serena? I forget. Probably remember it when I see her actual name again. Apologize for that, but yeah, I haven't seen her name in long enough, and I don't remember. But we also, luckily meeting up with her, finally regrouped with Lord Hien. Who, even though he's somebody who hasn't been involved in the fighting in Doma for quite some time, has a pretty good strategy. Um, remember, he got injured. Uh, the mole, with Cer uh, C Cer Cicerina. I don't know, I'll look that damn name. I'm just gonna say Serena. Serena works, right? But she took care of him. They nursed him back to health. He's been here ever since the failed liberation of Doma. And with that, finally able to get a successful uh, plan where he wants to recruit all of the Zayla to help us in the fight. I'm told you have a knack for making excellent first impressions, Idheen. Why don't you lead the way? I do. Hmm. For all the grand promises my lord he and has made, it would not do for us to falter now, we must earn the mole's blessing. Smaller and more cozy than the reunion, and there's that music I hear. It's strange, but somehow comforting. New look. Yeah, it's Serena. I kept thinking of I kept thinking there was another C. I don't know why. Oh it's you, where are your comrades? Did you find he in? At last, the travelers come. Yeah, what up? You know he ain't. Lisa's is my friend. It says Tamarun Hatun, Serena. I am returned. Ah, you found each other. Ours is the soil, Hian. The Domans, and the Eorzeans too. You know her. The gods know you, child. As do the stars in the heavens, which shone bright at your coming. The mole hearken to the whispers of the elder gods, which guide us in our daily lives. We know them through the Utun, like my grandmother. Hatun. I am come to beg a boon of you and yours. That I might liberate my homeland, I seek to rally the strength of the steppe. To that end, I wish to fight in the Nardom as a warrior of the Maw. Will you grant me this honor? To stand with the Maw is fruitless. He and do not do this. The gods may have willed that our tribe join in the Nardom, but... There is no path to victory. We are weak and our numbers few. Even with your help, it would be impossible. Hmm, I've done worse. I thank you for your concern, Sirena. But it is precisely because of the seeming hopelessness of your cause that we must needs cast our lot with you. Were we to join hands with a more favored tribe, our victory would inevitably be attributed to them. And no one would follow me to Doma. Twas the gods' will that we fight. Mayhap this too is their design. Hear me then. As Hartun of the Mall, I invite you all to join with us in the Nardom. Will you look after them? Come with me, friends. There is much I would show you. Hmm. You... Wait. I would have words. A singular radiance. Shimmering. 
like a jewel of the Dusk Mother, blinding in its brilliance. Stars flicker and flock to you. Before such gathered light, even the secrets of the gods may be laid bare. Some are fated to rise in grace and glory, others to falter and fade, though not from memory. Both will be your strength and salvation come the end. Cherish the stars and the light they bring you in the dark. For you are a traveler, are you not? Hmm. Oh, not ah! No, oh, run away! Press the wrong button. Oh, that was funny. I have to tell like some doom perspective of what uh, what will happen to my character in the future. I like this character. I hope she doesn't die. Yes, we'll have to beat some strong opponents to win this nod on. But th th is that good, isn't it? I mean, if they were, were easy to beat, they wouldn't be worth taking back to Doma, would they? I mean, a body's a body. Although I spent much time with them all, I have yet to fully grasp the nature of the uh, Ogden and their insights. They value the chance encounter and the potential fortune it brings. However, it's plain. Let's try not to disappoint them. How confident and bold in his speech he has grown. More and more reminds me of his father in his youth. Thank you all for coming and for offering to fight with us in the Nodon. Though I fe still fear our chances gr grim. I am grateful for your assistance. To be recognized as warriors of the mole, there is a trial you must overcome. Before we speak so soon, there's another more pressing matter. Yes. My friends, I must warn you, the path upon which you embark is fraught with peril. You will journey to the far reaching of snap to confront a terrible foe, as did the warrior Bardem in days of yore. Three days he battled with the demon Air, and he returned to his people. So it is written, so it must be. Many who follow his footsteps perish, lacking in strength of body and mind, therefore. I must treat you to a great feast. Have I said something strange? A hungry fox star, uh, starved, staring at the bull's testicle. What the hell? And therefore warriors should be fed well and eve about. Why the hell we talk about bull's testicles? Oh, she does have a point. You've been keeping us busy in my absence. A brief repast may be in order, lest we collapse of fatigue and malnourishment in the midst of our trial. Yes, just so. However, it will take time to prepare. Anything we can do to help, it might also give us a chance to learn more about your people and their ways. Well, if you assist, I am sure that the others will be glad of your assistance. Okay, at least he's gonna do that. Now, would you go and speak with. I think she said door by, Elise. As for you three, you can help me with another task. At today's feast, the gods decreed that we lure Gulu Gulu to slaughter the in with entrails. Perhaps you could be the ones to do this. That your people look to gods for guidance, I understand, but in your daily meals, I see your grandmother must be quite busy. Some days more than others, but every night we come together around the cook fire. Then babies must earn their keep on the step. Give over the entrails, Serena, we will bring you a bounty of meat. I'll never understand why people eat that crap. Oh. Ian has the entrails. Good hunting, I mean. Why? Just go look for them. Satellite imaging. Why am I an asshole? Why the hell do I always go to technology? Oh, that's right. American. So the Google will be so easy to load to the slaughter, I wonder. 
What advice Akori is wont to avoid with the Zela and their settlements? We have fallen to flowing water. Huh. How could we? How about we make a game of it, ID? I have six bags of entrails, which we may lure or our gulu gulu. Three for you, three for me. Whoever returns with the greater portion shall declare the winner. Let's say you. No problem, no pal. And his little Guzetsu will stand as witness. Let the game begin. Now the rock. Now many of you may be wondering, Damon, does that mean you go to this location here? No. I want to win. I want to win. So I'm going to go do the best thing I can do, and that's go to the better locations. Um... Yeah, but I've never fully understood that. There's some weird food out there that I'll never comprehend why people eat. Like, you got ox tongue, goat testicles, all that weird stuff. I, I, I ain't touching that with Tim for Barge Bowl. I'm sorry, but that's weird. Like, who in the hell would eat that crap? Like, maybe alligator tail. You know, because it's tail. But you're eating goddamn tongue out of an ox. I can only envision what that thing is seeing. And usually if you go to a place where it makes it a... Sometimes it's kind of questionable overall anyway. It's like... It's like going to... It's like going to like a crappy, uncleansed freaking restaurant. It's like that's the only thing that can remind me of. Like that's where they would serve ox tongue. It's not something everybody wants, but it's just that weird thing some people want. Alright, time to do this. Drag it down. Easy dub, easy dub. Oh yeah, there's that other one down there. Well, we'll go down there in a minute. The ones we need are... I want to get the two done because they're going to be a little bit more of a pain. guys are all gone and then the last one we want to get is over here mainly the reason being is there isn't enough here to really justify doing this one I think there's like only one or two same thing down here with the Onsei one it's I think there's only one that spawns in um, they do try to make it like a little bit entertaining by like adding this little game to play like who can kill the most um, the way I did it is I do those two up top on that cliff side, and then I do number three over here. The highest, because it's the area where they spawn in uh, the thickest. Which, I would have found this a little bit more interesting if it was more by chance. But I kind of get why Square Enix didn't do it that way, because then it'd just be a mess. Because it's just like, oh, the chances of them spawning here higher than over here, but it'd probably be too much for the goddamn game to handle. So we're up to five. Alright, dead. I got three of them, not bad. Yeah. So what that give us? That gives us eight, right? We got eight. Not bad. I'm really surprised there's nobody around right now. I guess nobody must be... There's two possibilities. Well, actually, no, there's three. Either one, Stormblood at this point is kind of, is kind of dead. Two... Everybody's playing 5.4 or 3. There's just nobody on right now. Those are usually the three. 
I'm assuming maybe more towards the ladder, but I don't know. I know Square Enix has got a lot more people to start playing this game finally. Me included, because I can't finally came back and started playing it too. But I know they're getting a lot of new people. Because I think they have the game on sale for like $30, I think, still at this point. But today's what, the 29th? 28th? 29th. I don't know how long the sale is going to last. It's worth getting. I usually tell people to get it. Oh, you've used all your bait. In that case, let's uh, see the fruits of your labor. Oh, I love fruits. Oh, it seems that at the very least you are the faster hunter. But speed is not everything. For my part, I slew six gulo gulo. Aye, that you have, my lord. As for Idaheen, the meat of eight gula gula did she bring, a fine day's work, and unto my lord, the greater portion. Ha <laughs> ha, well, I'm a wiener. Ah, loss, is it? How confident I was in my chances. Nevertheless, it's a testament to your skills as a hunter and a warrior. How fortunate I am to count one so talented among my allies. With that, our game is concluded. Let us return to the mole below forthwith and let us have Ideen present our meat to Sirena. Oh. That beyond familiar with traditional Zela cuisine, let us not its appearance deceive you. It's quite hearty and nourishing. We're not so, I would not have. I doubt they could have nursed me back to health. <laughs> you should have seen the state I was in. Why are they walking off onto the plains? Let's look comprehend some of the walking dis walking paths they give the AI. I'll say it's really cool seeing Hien and then like he seems like a really cool guy in this. Such kindness and generosity have shown not only my lord, but us all. Victory in the Dada will be a fitting payment. She would should be impressed when she sees the quantity we have brought. Return out in, how was your hunt? Well, I have eight, he has six, we got fourteen pounds of meat. My word is impressive. Oh, you were so hungry that you felt the need to kill so many? Well, I shall endeavor not to disappoint you at all with my cooking. Ah, damn it. He has many responsibilities of welcoming your help, nor would you regret making his acquaintance, for he is liked and respected by all. You may find him by the other year, takes off of our supplies. I accidentally uh, skipped that because I double clicked. I'm always double clicking. That or my finger gets that impulse to click and I have to like, Oh, it's Dorbai. Ah, oh, a newcomer is welcome. I spoke with Lise. I bade her to help the children gather fuel for the cook fires. I trust it will be a good experience for all. You too, perhaps. Seek them in the south across the bridge. That bridge is not, is not looked that well maintained. Made of wood. Where's the concrete? Yeah. I don't know why I always think of that. It's like, anytime I see wood bridge, my brain just immediately goes, that thing's gonna break. Go, go somewhere else, go somewhere else. Find steel, concrete, some type of metal. To where the trust wood is not not in a million years I'll jump across well, I ain't, are you here to help too oh yeah all right so I suppose Dorbo uh, Dorby uh, told you the children and I are gathering fuel for the fires did he They'll need to be dried before they can burn it, of course. You um, you do understand that we're here for, right? Only some people can be a bit squeamish about this sort of stuff. And again, you're never minded getting your hands dirty, have you? Anyway, we're trying to get four piles each. Good luck and keep an eye on the children while you're at it, eh? That is a creepy-ass vine bitch. I mean, I, I only like your green counterparts, because I remember them in uh, Crystal Chronicles. Man, do I remember those days. I haven't played that game in years. 
years, man. I also gotta keep. Rem I also keep forgetting that I told myself I'm also gonna go buy that Mario game on Nintendo Switch. I haven't got around to doing that yet. That way I can get Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Travel I will not lose to you, I shall have three times as much dung as you at least. I like how they call the dung Auburn Turf or Auburn Tough. It's like, why not just say the word shite? We all know they use that word in this game. Shite's fine. It's just a British terminology for the same thing. I agree with it. It's like every time I say Shiza. There's a lot of kids around. I don't seem to find any dung here. Maybe somewhere else? Why the hell do they have all the young kids here getting this crap if there's all these enemies here? Oh, your least friend, are you? Trying to help us too? Like, why are you the only one concerned? You have these little kids running around. With that thing going around. No, 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 no. Oh, it's a Zayla. This is part of the ritual. We gotta change our ritual, bro. You're saying that's part of your ritual. It's like me, like, saying letting your five year old son drive your car is. It's a ritual. He's gotta learn. It's just like, yeah, until he crashes your car, neither he dies or the car gets totaled. Well, have you found your share yet? Close. Here's all that uh, shite. Mm. Coffee. Good work. I hope you took the time to talk to children while you were at it. A little bit. Please, please, look how much dung we have. I'm impressed. I thought we gathered a lot, but it looks like you'll have to admit defeat. Uh, Dorbai will be happy with food enough. Not just Dubai, now we can continue making cheese. Not that I was worried. It was easier that when we were living near that forest, but dung works just as well as wood. I had them all move from place to place to the gods tell you where to go. That must be hard on all of you. Hard? I do not understand. Why is it hard? Better for the animals to move to have more food to eat and land to roam. Same one place is harder now. In the heavens come the rain which nourishes the soil, from the soil comes the grass which nourishes the beast, from the beast comes the flesh which nourishes the zela. Ours is the soil of one and all. You westerners are like the domage, you live in the same place in villages, not the villages in one place or part of a nation, yes? I, he and uh, talks about the nation sometimes when he was injured, he spoke of dome in his sleep, but I did not understand his words. Never ask him about dome, he just smiles and looks to the south. It reminds me of my mother when she waits for my father to return from a long journey. But he and will not wait any longer, will he? Because you came for him, to take him back, because his nation is more important. I'm not sure how to answer this. A nation is a place, I suppose. A place and the people in it. It may be the things, too. But more than that is the history, the traditions, the words, the stories we tell ourselves and our children. Everything that came before and everything that comes after. The place where we were born is part of who we carry, who we are. We carry it with us. No matter where we go, whoever, whatever we become, that part remains. That link to our fathers and their fathers before them. It's it's not important to everyone, I suppose, and that's fine, but it's important to Ian and to me. Some call them all fools for listening to the elder gods, but it's our way, our pride, our nation. Nothing like that. It's something precious that you and others share and that no one can ever take from you. But we can talk more about that later. It's time to go home. Dorbai is waiting. I'll stay with the children. Why not go and let Sirena know how we got on? Oof. That was a good one. Not the worst one I've ever had, though. It's on par. Being being a regular average verb. God, if there's anybody that can have a messed up burp, it's my brother. This is like his is like a deeper burp that involves stomach acid. And what sounds like throwing up. <laughs> his one friend gets so pissed at him over, he's just like, 
Oh my god, you're disgusting. It's pretty funny when it happens. I get them once in a while, but not too often. Welcome back, Ani. Did you speak with Dorai? Well, well, then you will forgive me if I ask you to wash your hands. I shall pour you a cup of milk tea in the meantime. The meal is almost certainly ready, we, so we should summon Hien and Gazetsu. She's gone. She needed the rest. To come so far and carry so much. Hien and his friend, too. Strange that they should vanish so soon. Mock battle. Not troubled by your old wounds, I see. <laughs> Nor you by yours. I know I should have fled with the others after father died, instead of blindly fighting on. It was reckless and foolish, and there was naught to be gained from it. Everything to lose, rather. We know no path save the one we walk. I myself am in no hurry to meet those who have gone before. Not while I have still to make amends. Well said. You are none the worse for your time in the wilderness. On the contrary, I would say you have improved. Come now, your victories still far exceed mine. Or have you forgotten all the times you trounced me as a boy? I feared I would not see you again. A life so fortuitously saved should be spent wisely. Without regret would I have traded it for our people's amnesty had it been their will. Instead they have called for the sword, and so that is what I must be. Until this blade is broken, I can but carve a path forward. Were you truly so concerned for my well-being? You never showed it when we used to spar. How you cried when you lost, and when your mother tried to comfort you, and when you inevitably came at me once more, swinging your wooden sword wildly. Mina's little master Shun. What a fine young man you've become. A man should not be addressed by his childhood name. I've told you about that before. Ah, the mask slips. And I was so close to cultivating a winning persona.
There will be opportunity enough for putting on airs after you have returned in triumph to Doma. Now is the time to show our true character. I heard you guys fired in the one spot. <laughs> so wait a minute, what will you say? No secret between comrades, eh? Shun was it? So long as we win, when it counts. Oh, my God. I, I'm a smartass, so... Yes, yes. It is a name my parents gave me as a child, but I should like to think I have long since outgrown it. But as you seem determined to bring it back into use, <laughs> I believe a match is in order. If I win, you will be honor-bound to divulge one of your darkest secrets. <laughs> if I win, I get to call him Shun for the rest of the game. <laughs> Good win for me. I thought they were going to have Lee still passed out there. What the hell was that? Oh, okay, it's that thing. I just hear something out of, like, out of the side of one of my earphones. I'm just like, what the hell was that? And I'm just like, I was about to take my headset off. Oh, and that was just what I needed. Was the food to your liking? Good, good. Yeah, it tastes like shite. New beginning lies beyond the horizon. We have but to seize it with our own two hands. Now, my friends, I for one am full of vim and vigor. I trust you feel the same. And what better time to now take our trial and become full fledged warriors of the mold? Now, then, Serena, if you would tell us of the trial we would, uh, we must undertake that we might participate in the Nadam. Ah uh, yes, as I mentioned before, to be recognized as warriors of the steppe, one must follow the footsteps of the legendary warrior Bardem. He embarked upon a great pilgrimage, skewing cart and horse, and walked for many moments until he came to a holy place. Thereafter, Bardem's metal. There at the altar, as he did, you must pray. The altar lies deep within the breeding grounds of the Yol. To complete your trial, you must tame one. Only then will your trial be complete. Fair enough, and where is the entrance to Bardem's metal? You must journey far, far to the west, beyond Chaka Zo, where lie the bones of the great and wise woman. Beyond the ruins of Seo In, hidden within the mountains is a narrow pass. Follow it and you'll come to Bottom's Metal. Sounds to me like it's just a trial, just getting to the trial. More than you may know, on even Nana, many strive to improve their fortunes, some by abducting and slaving the warriors of other tribes. Be ever mindful of your surroundings, lest you be taken as well. Ah, what grim expressions you wear while nodding so powerfully, warriors such as you are not like the fallen or out to a mere rite of passage. Shall proceed with all due caution, yes, but let us not worry over much. It will come this trial in the next day, blah blah blah, and rescue the... Back my home of Doma, that is what I'm assuming. Ah, uh, well, with me, my friends, to the west of Bottom's Metal. I always misclick. I wish he was just like either left click did it or right click did it to switch the uh, scene like that. Wait, yeah, and oh dear, anyway, we forget. Yeah, take these whistles. Once tamed, you will hearken to your call. Thanks. We'll try them out once when we finish the trial. Let's catch up the Hien and Guzetsu. Need a perilous journey, but I know you will see it once as I once did. Wow. Wait, is there an to this? Holy crap. Hm. Well, here's the big question. Anybody in here? Nope. Alright, this works out for me. So, uh, guys, unfortunately, I always have to end the episode, and this is where I'm going to be ending this one. Uh, the next one we're going to be doing is we're going to run over to said location, deal with the crap over there. See if we can do this bottoms metal and complete the challenge. Uh, so with that, all I gotta say is this. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. When we come back, ladies and gents, more Final Fantasy XIV, and I'll be sure to see you guys next time. Thanks.